last full day. We're walking to a coffee shop right now to get coffee and battle time in this morning before we have a packed day of the beach and some hiking. Excited, I still need to wake up a little bit. Woo! Okay, we just took a picture at the sign. Just took my doll because I'm in pain. And I put on sunscreen everywhere, if you can tell. And we're walking to a mountain to go up and then down to the beach. He's the owner of the motorcycle. Guys, it's one of the schools. Also, let me show you one of the pictures that I took with the seal. Guys, for the first time on the trip, I'm not feeling well. I am not doing good. My legs are starting to feel funny and my stomach hurts so bad. But I want all the experiences. So we're pushing through, complaining a little, but trying to make it and trying to complain as little as possible. But I don't think it's working very well. Anyways, I think it's so cool that there's a school right here. These are military men. So, well, one of them. And then this is a school. I think it's so cool. They have five schools on the islands. And this one is for the Educación Básica. So, like elementary. And it's so cool. I just love it, how it's outdoors and also colorful. We need to instate some of these in the States. We got to the museum. We're waiting to sign in. We are now hiking to a viewpoint and then we're going to hike back down to a beach where we're gonna snorkel again which will be so exciting i'm so excited to see what the differences are at this beach from the other also look how pretty these flowers are okay let me show you the scenery there are so many cactuses here cacti either way works for me that i was not expecting to see We decided to run and now we made it to the top it's and it's beautiful. It's yeah. Let me show you. Just three sunscreens and we're making our descent. I need to fold my bill so it covers my whole face. Then we went to the beach where we got to swim and snorkel a little later on once we got the snorkels, but the waves were huge, there are so that's what I'm going out to surf. Here. Like, what? That's like huge. Anyways, I'm really excited. It's gonna be beautiful. Hopefully, we'll get the snorkel soon and we'll see what creatures are out there. It's nap time for the rest of the crew. Kelly's cashed. They're chilling. She's asleep. She's asleep too. Okay, just went snorkeling again and I saw school of fish. And I saw the same school three separate times as they like moved across and they were getting more people each time. And it was so cool because they started in 25 and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like Dory. And then it was 50 and then by the end it was 100. So cool. They were like, they're about like, like probably the size of my face in height and then the size of my shoulders in length. And it was just so cool. So cool. Because <laughs> my dad will be proud. Dad, I'm eating octopus. Ready? Heading back to the beach and we, the nice one. And we're gonna do a baptism. This is Matt's first time in the wild here. Hello, America. How are you feeling? <laughs> Doing good, ate some rice. Woo! This is like his first food in so long, so good for him. Other than crackers, yeah. I should say. Okay. But we're gonna get ready to head. All of them are here. All right, we're back at the other beach. Sophie slept in my arms the whole way here and it was so cute. And then I carried her halfway down like the walkway to get here, which is probably like almost a mile, I'm not even kidding. Um, but I carried her during that too, which was really sweet. Um, but we're here 
and we're gonna swim for a little bit and then also do a baptism for Panchito, which is really exciting. So, oops, sorry. Are you ready? Okay, let's go, let's go. Tenemos algo muy especial que es acerca de nuestro querido hermano Panchito. Jesus was really good at parties. He celebrated pretty much everything. We just ate some snacks on the beach and are headed back to the taxis to head back. It's our last night all together, which is really sad actually. I don't know why I said actually because obviously it's sad. But thinking about it is crazy because I feel like we were thinking about the trip leading up to it for so long and the fact that it's over makes me really, really sad. So anyways, beach is beautiful. Hanging out in the waves is great. It did start to get cold near the end, but it's time to celebrate. We lost power again. Now she's telling a scary story. Just kidding, that's what you look like. Oh, there's Dan. There's us with our flashlights and we're gonna learn a new game under candlelight. J my hair anyways i'm going to shower quickly i have two little shower two little showers two little towels that i've been using anyways the reason it took us so long to shower was because the power went out i'm going to grab some clothes to change into on the bed and then um pick out some other stuff to wear grab my shampoo and conditioner and i'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna meet everybody else at dinner because I'm still in a wet swimsuit. I got an empanada. <laughs> My stomach hurts again, but we just finished dinner. I basically had like three empanadas and um, ate like off of a bunch of different people's plates. Had a few sips of Coke, a watermelon juice, and some other stuff. It was delicious, but my stomach hurt like a booty cheek. It's our last morning and we're walking to breakfast and look at this little baby seal. Or sea lion. They're sea lions, guys. The last breakfast together. Oh, so sad. And we have our little peeping table. All right, we are walking back to the hotel one last time before we leave. Look how cute this street is. Look how cute this restaurant is. Look how good the sky looks. <laughs> and look how great Dan looks too. And Missy too. Mama Missy. It's for the celebration of Three Kings Day, which is today. It's the 12th day. It's the 12th day, day of Christmas. Three yeah. Kings Day parade. It's also my mom's birthday. At the aeropuerto, a lot of us are feeling sick, but we're headed home and yay. Or headed home, I should say. We're headed to Quito. We're gonna be staying in Quito for the night. Sorry, you can see my gum. And um, we're gonna go to the mall for dinner tonight because supposedly it's an experience that we need. And then um, we'll leave early tomorrow morning for the airport to actually head back home. This is wild. We're at the mall. Excited? We're eating panchitos with panchito. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. We got hats. I've been wanting a hat for so long since May, and I'm so excited. Excited. How excited are you so about the excited. hat? Yay! Yeah. 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 
we're saying bye. I'm crying, if you can tell. All right, guys, it's 11.30, and we're in the hotel. We just got back from the Galapagos, so I haven't had my suitcase for five days now. We leave for the airport at 4.30 a.m., so it's gonna be an early morning. Yeah, I'm just gonna basically get ready and then pack up my little drawstring with things that need to go in a check bag. And then once that's done, I'll be all ready to head out. I'm gonna shower and then go to bed. Oh my gosh, it's so weird to be leaving this place again. I'm really sad about it. Um, but I think I'll be back pretty soon, hopefully within the next year, um, which I think can definitely happen. I'm hoping to come this summer, but that's currently a plan that's literally just been thought of within the last couple days. So anyways, we'll see, but good stuff. I'm gonna shower and pack up first actually. So let's go do that. Good morning, it's 4.34 and we're about to head to the airport. Trying to figure some things out this morning, but it's a bit cray. Anyways, I'll see you in some time on the way home. Currently we're at the airport and we are um, waiting because we have some sick people. So we're getting some medicine at the pharmacy before we head on the plane because it's not fun to fly home sick. Um, but anyways, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this Ecuador adventure. I hope you all enjoyed going around this beautiful country with me and all my friends. And so I'll see you guys in my next video and hopefully I'll be back here soon. Bye. Hey, I just wanted to pop in and say one more thing. Truly, thank you so much for following along on all of these Ecuador adventures. It really means a lot and everybody's support to make this trip happen also means so much. It really is a place that holds um, a special place in my heart and I want to get back there as soon as possible, like I said. Oh, I literally, oh, I miss it so much. I like to look at pictures and then like I get sad and then I'm like, I shouldn't be looking at these pictures because they make me sad, but um, it makes me sad in a good way to just, just be so thankful for the relationships that I have on the other side of the equator um, and how just because we're far away doesn't mean that we can't be praying for them and that my heart can't be with them and um yeah anyways it was just such a wonderful trip and i cannot express that enough and so thanks for coming along and i'll see you in my next video Bye.